Proponents of former President Donald Trump's big lie are continuing to be served with lawsuits, and it's hilarious. Uh, one such lawsuit has been launched by Dominion Voting Systems, who is suing Sidney Powell, as well as others, Rudy Giuliani, for example, for defamation. Uh, now, the only problem, of course, is that they had to uh, catch her first. And that served, you know, that was, a, that was a little bit of a problem. Uh, according to Dominion, Powell had to be pursued across state lines as she evaded being served with the defamation lawsuit the company filed against her. Well, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't blame her. I mean, it's a, that's, a, that's a lot of money. It's over a billion dollars. Uh, yeah, you know, I, guess, yeah, I guess I'd run too. Or maybe not lie in the first place. Uh, now, in response to a motion by Ms. Powell, for an extension of time to answer or respond to the complaint, Dominion's lawyers did say that they do not oppose the motion as a professional courtesy. Okay, we'll give you more time to respond to it, sure. Uh, but want the record to reflect two different points. First, that Powell refused to respond to requests about executing waivers of service or process that would have extended her time uh, to respond to the complaint, which, of course, is now what she's asking for after she got caught. Um, and secondly, that she had evaded being served for weeks, forcing Dominion to incur unnecessary expenses for the extraordinary measures needed to serve Mrs. Powell, including the hiring of private investigators to pursue her across state lines. So this woman, she's like, uh-oh, somebody's after me. I gotta go. I'm going to run away from the lawsuit instead of facing up for the lies and retracting the lies that I spread about this election. All she had to do was to say, no, uh, you know what? I take everything back. No, Dominion wasn't, uh, you know, created by the ghost of Hugo Chavez uh, in order to rig the election. That's ridiculous. That's, you know, that's just, uh, that's just ridiculous talk here. Uh, no, I don't believe any of that at all. And then, well, the lawsuit would have went away. Instead, what does she do? She doubled down. Now, the case, of course, is pretty compelling against her. Uh, she made things up with no evidence. Again, she claimed that not only with the ghost of Hugo Chavez, but also Iran and China got together to compromise Dominion voting machines, of which we have no evidence of, so that they would change Trump supporters' votes to Joe Biden. Now, again, if you were to make those claims, you'd have to have pretty compelling evidence, right? Except she has no evidence. She also, again, claimed that Hugo Chavez had influence with the software, that it was developed during the time when he was in charge of Venezuela in order to rig elections in favor of him, and that someday it was going to be used against Donald Trump. Again, super ridiculous, right? Uh, Powell had falsely claimed that Dominion had rigged the election, that Dominion was created in Venezuela, and that Dominion bribed Georgia officials for a no-bid contract, the lawsuit reads. Uh, Dominion is seeking $650 million in reputational damages and another $650 million in punitive damages. The company claims that it has spent millions providing security for their employees, who are, of course, being threatened by MAGA supporters, uh, and for public relations work in order to maintain their image. Uh, in addition to the $1.3 billion, the company is also seeking a legal injunction against Ms. Powell that would force her to remove all of her defamatory comments about Dominion and prevent her from making them in the future. Uh, and again, why do I think that this is a, a pretty easy case? Because, well, they can easily prove the damages. Now, so their job, th this company makes voting machines. That's, that's their main job. And so, well, you have to have people to buy those voting machines, right? You have to have the Democrats. Well, if Democrats buy them, the Republicans will look at that and be like, oh, so you're buying Dominion voting machines. I guess you're going to try to rig this election, huh? And then, of course, Republicans and Republican voters are pretty angry about that. Same if Republicans decide to have a contract with Dominion. Oh, so you're trying to rig elections for the Democrats. And then, again, once again, the people lose uh, you know, trust in our voting system. And therefore that hurts their reputation. They're not going to, these governments, they're not going to go and sign contracts with Dominion, which means they lose out on any of their potential revenue. So yeah, that absolutely hurt their businesses. Uh, and so these lies, again, you can definitely prove that this was harmful uh, or that this would be harmful to the company having these lies out there. So for me, open and shut, right? Uh, that said, 
Powell doubled down. Even after they just did a cease and desist letter, right? She still tweeted out that she would retract nothing because she had evidence. Well, where was her evidence? She had none. She did not release the Kraken, okay? All she had was a floppy dead fish that was stinking up the courtroom. That was it. That's That was it. You don't evade lawsuits if you know you're going to win. All right? You, you don't run because you're scared. You run because, well, you run because you're scared, actually. <laughs> True. Um, and, and you run because you know you're wrong. Sydney Powell, she's going to lose, and she's going to lose badly. We all know this, if it even ever gets to court. And frankly, I do hope that Smartmatic and Dominion, that Smartmatic is also uh, doing gigantic lawsuits as well. Uh, I hope that they take these people to the cleaners. Rudy included. Uh, so, you know, they can stop doing their ridiculous lies against the election and against these companies who actually didn't do anything wrong. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.